NASCAR Next Hell Cup Racing presented on NBC by Subway. From Phoenix International Raceway under the fifth caution of the race with Dale Earnhardt Jr. now back out in front. That Dave Burns, did the 12 and 48 half flats or not? They did not, Benny. In fact, they were checked by the teams and both the right front situation for Ryan Newman and what Jimmy Johnson thought perhaps was the tire situation on the right side of his car, neither ended up being flat. I, stuck, I talked with both crew chiefs, the 48, Chad Knauss, and the 12 of Ryan Newman, that being Matt Borland. Both of them did not want to discuss with me what the situation was, even though they weren't flat tires. This championship is putting a tremendous amount of pressure on these crew chiefs and on these teams. They talked to their teams about what to fix, not so much to us. Jimmy Johnson, 35th place as he tries for four wins in a row. Back at Phoenix, we see the 48 crew examining the wheel. The wheels have been loose on these right fronts, I think, on the 48 and 12. And they have a, a spacer plate that goes between the hat of the, the brake rotor and the wheel. And I think somehow that, that spacer plate is loose. A story will continue to follow on Jimmy Johnson as he tries to recover from the unscheduled stop. Ryan Newman is tail end of the lead lap, did not pit under this caution. The guys between he and the pace car did. So now Dale Earnhardt Jr., the leader, is chasing the 12 down the backstretch. And Earnhardt knows he better get this 12 car lap down because Newman has been fast all day and he wants him a lap down. He doesn't want Newman on the same lap. It'll be smart to get him put down, hopefully. And Newman wants to run as hard as he can. If, if Junior does get by, at least be the car, the first car lap down. Matt Yoakum. Alan Dale Earnhardt Jr. tells the Uries that the car is tight, but Tony Uries Sr. told me they kept Dale Jr. out there basically for track position. In fact, he told me these guys are driving like wild men. We just want to keep our guy out in safe, clean air and good track position. <laughs> Another good reason to get in front of the 12 cars. He'll be in really clean air if he can be out front. I don't think I could fault him for that. No, I'm pretty good strategy if you ask me. By the way, Carl Edwards, off track, has gone back to the garage to have a new radiator put in his Roush Ford. Yeah, we saw the heavy damage to the front of the 99 car. Check out the uh, chase. Jimmy Johnson, who had climbed up to second over his little winning streak, now falling back because of his pit road, or his, uh, I guess, pit road problem would be fair to say. Now, Ryan Newman in the 12 car, he showed this speed earlier on. He led the, what, first 30, 40 laps of this race. But the longer they run, the better the 8 car becomes versus all the rest of the competition. So just to set the strategy from that last caution, as you watch that ticker come by, the top 8 guys in the running order now, plus Terry Labonte, did not hit under this caution. First guy who did is Jeff Gordon. He's in ninth place. But they hadn't run that many laps since they had fit. Correct. Trouble. Elliot Sadler. Well, Newman is going to be now on the lead lap. Yep. He's going to make up all that ground. Because the caution flag is out. Mm. Boy, there's a championship bid that's taken a hit uh, and a hurting in the last three weeks for Elliot Sadler. That's a lot of damage. It's going to take a while to get that car fixed. Bill Weber. Yeah, while it's going to be interesting to see what these guys do here, because just like the other guys on pit road have been talking about, these drivers do not want to give up track position. Some of them are very concerned with the driving styles of the guys that are not on the lead lap. So you want to stay as close to the front as you can. That's why these guys are staying out. Bill, they're trying to win. Isn't that a novel idea? How about that? That's huh? a wonderful thing. But, you know, Ryan Newman said it earlier, it, when these tires go off, it's hard to run traffic because these cars are sliding all over the place. Matt, what happened to 38, you know? Elias Sadler came on and said, we cut the right front tire and there is a bunch of stuff broken. We've got a lot of work to do. Oh, well, that might have had something to do with it. All right, that's what he did. That's what probably put the right front tire down and now he's really going to, there it goes down right there. You see the yeah. marks on the racetrack. I guess question is, was it down before he hit the wall in turn four the first time? Tell you what, that turn four this week has gotten so many cars. There's where it blew, right there. Yeah. So 32nd at Martinsville, 36th Atlanta, and back to the garage today here at Phoenix. There's a lot of work to be done.
done on that car. Pit road is still closed. We don't know exactly what the leaders are going to do this time. Well, it, well it, you know Newman's going to come in and put four on. <laughs> Look at all the Dale Jarrett. See all the driver coaches leaving the track because now we're halfway. They're not going to be here tomorrow, so they're all going back. <laughs> it's hard to make the drive to South Carolina for Darlington, right? right? Mm -hmm. Well, pit road's open here. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the leader, stopped last at. A junior stop at 107. There they go. There they go. Back to the Darlington, race in South Carolina. Yeah, race to Darlington. <laughs> <laughs> so as the leader comes to the start finish line this time, nope. we will reach halfway. Question is, does anybody pit here? Well, the guys in the back will. Looks like Jamie McMurray is going to peel off. 11th place driver, the first one to come to pit road. 